Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Alex Hubbard and I'm a senior systems administrator with over 15 years of experience in the IT industry. Um, today, in kind of keeping with our uh, Active Directory theme, uh, Windows Server theme, we're going to work on installing a Windows 10 VM so that we have something to play with on our Active Directory domain. So today's video will take you through installing Windows 10 uh, in VMware and joining it to the domain. So let's log into our ESXi or VMware ESXi host and let's get this installation going. So first thing we are going to do is we are going to create a virtual machine and we're going to name it uh, lab-test01 we'll call it. Sorry, not very creative some days. Test, oh, oops, oh, there we go. Family will be Windows, and we'll do Windows 10 64-bit. Put it on, there's only one data store in this machine. Um, I'll give it 60 gigs, because I'm feeling generous. We'll put it on our lab group here. Let's select our data store ISO, which I've already downloaded from Microsoft and uploaded. Uh, this is client email. Is this server email? Okay, client email. So they've got some wacky names and I didn't rename them. So let's go ahead and click next. We'll finish this and we'll fire this one up. Power on. We'll also install VM tools or VMware tools. Okay, so much like my server 2019 video, which I'll link up here, uh, we will select English uh, for both the time and currency language because um, we're in the United States keyboard will be US um, select your select your uh, location accordingly we'll click the install now button this installation is very similar to server 2019 um, it's it's pretty straightforward go ahead and accept your license terms this is an eval copy um, we will do custom we're going to click new here for the partition. We'll use the full partition. It's going to come up and say, you know, Windows features need, you know, in order to work correctly, we need to create some partitions. That's fine. And you can see it's created some system partitions. You still want to install to this primary partition. Go ahead and click next. It's going to copy the files over. Um, it's going to reboot and we'll take you to the out of box experience. Um, and then we'll work on joining it to the domain. All right, uh, let's go through the out-of-box experience. So choose your location. In my case is the United States. We'll click yes. Uh, US keyboard. Skip. It's pretty pretty basic setup. Um, if you've done one operating system, you've done them all. Uh, for now, we're going to click I don't have internet because it's on my lab network. Um, which I don't have any of that set up. So we'll continue with limited setup. Uh, we're going to do just lab. Super memorable password. Um, I wish they let you skip these. Since this is the lab, this is, this, this is not... Um, this is not a production environment, so I'm just, you know, I'm just, this machine will get blown away when we're all done with it anyway, so, and it's not on the internet at the moment, so I'm not too concerned about it. We'll click no, decline, it's a VM, don't need Cortana. Um, best practices, um, I mean, I shut all this stuff off, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't like having this stuff turned on. Um, it's just me personally. You can do whatever you feel is necessary for your organization or your lab. So this will go finish up. We'll log in, and we'll be should be almost ready to join into the domain. All right, let's log into our virtual Windows 10 lab machine here, and we'll work on joining it to the domain. Make sure it's got an IP address, make sure it can ping the domain controller, um, and then we'll join it to lab.lan. Let's open up a command prompt. 
Let's do an IP config all. Okay, so it's got the right DNS, it's got the right IP. Looks good. Let's see if we can ping our DC01. Perfect. Let's see if we can ping DC02. Perfect. Let's see if we can ping it by DC01. Yep, we can ping it by name as well. So DNS is functioning. Perfect. All right. Now that we've done that, let's go over here to our system and do, 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 do system info. Come on. There we go. All right. Oh, you know what? Before we can actually join this, we've got to rename it too. I forgot to include that. So let's, let's rename it. Uh, one thing before we rename it, uh, the way that I rename it um, is I'll rename the machine and reboot it. Then I join it to the domain. Um, I've had issues in the past where, or I've run into issues in the past where, you know, guys will, guys will rename uh, a machine like this, right? And then immediately join it to lab.lan. And uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So best practice, in my opinion, would be to rename it first. So let's cancel out of that. So rename it, leave it in work group, test 01 rename it, reboot it, and then join it to the domain that way. Cause then you've got a nice clean, cause right now if you, so if you, let's pull that aside for a second. If you look at this computer name down here, you see it says desktop and it's got, you know, the random numbers and that it will change to lab dash test one after restarting. So technically right now, this machine's name is still desktop dash LUP seven a one S. So that's why I, I like to reboot it uh, before I join it to the domain. So let's go ahead and restart. Let's go ahead and send keys. So control alt delete lab. And while we're in here too, let's go ahead and install VMware tools. <coughs> so we'll do that first before we join it to the domain. Yep, good there. And the VMware tools on Windows 10 is the exact same method for pretty much any Windows machine. So um, it's not, it's not, it's not hard. While well, we're waiting for that, um, yep, there we go. Typical install, install. Um, I just accept the defaults on it. There's, there's not really any reason to play with the settings on this. While we're waiting for that, we'll come over to settings. We'll go up to system here and let's go to, where were we here? About and system info. And now you can see that the computer name has been renamed to lab dash test zero one. Come back in here and do change settings. We'll do change down here and member of, we will change this to domain and it will be lab.lan. Now it'll prompt you for your domain credentials. So lab administrator and then your password. Now, as long as everything's working, you should get a message to say welcome, which we do. So you click okay. It's gonna ask you, or it's gonna tell you you need to restart, you can click okay. Uh, changes will take effect after you restart. So, okay. Let's just make sure our VM tool, VMware tools has completed. Nope, it hasn't. So we'll postpone this for now. There we go. It should be installing. Once this finishes, we'll, there we go. All right. Yep. Now we can re restart. The machine's gonna restart, then you can uh, log in with your lab credentials. So in this case, we'll log in. Uh, the only account I have available right now is the domain admin uh, account, which I haven't I haven't created any accounts yet. That's not good practice. This is just lab. I'm just, we're basically getting it set up to uh, be able to do some more of the advanced stuff. So um, 
I just want to show that it works. So once this comes back up, we'll log in with our domain admin account, verify that you can log in, and then that will pretty much conclude this video. So, okay, here we go here. Let's send our keys. Now you can see it's still logged in as lab. We're going to switch other user. And now you can see it says sign into lab. So that's the domain. Uh, one kit, quick tip for you guys out there. If you needed to log into a machine locally after you've put it on the domain, a trick that will allow you to lo log in locally um, is you hit the dot and the backslash. That's the key above the enter key. And you can see where it says sign into now has just changed to lab-test01. That will let you log in with a local user account on this workstation. Um, so we're going to clear that. We're going to type in administrator. And we're going to type in our password. Oh, actually, you know what? We probably need to do lab backslash. Because we want to sign into lab. There we go. Because we, we haven't changed any of the admin accounts or anything so they're both administrator there we go now it's going to go through uh, setup for the domain admin account so guys this is how uh, you set up windows 10 and join it to the domain in your test environment um, pretty straightforward pretty easy um, very basic install um, i just wanted to show you kind of basically the whole process of setting up uh, your your lab, your Windows test environment and your lab network. Um, so if you like these videos, please like and subscribe below. Leave me a comment, thumbs up, thumbs down. Turn on your post notifications, a little bell in the, the bottom corner there so that you can see when I post the latest videos. Uh, you can also follow along. Uh, I have a blog site, achubbard.com, that I've been doing some write-ups over there on. Um, so you can check that out as well. Um, so I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned.